even a real Barbie. You've got a real Barbie at home that Santa gave you a few Santa weeks ago. Santa Barbie, Barbie, I'm in a skinny Barbie. I need men. I need men to stop. I need you to fucking stop. I need you to fucking stop derailing the conversation and making it about your feelings when women say men are garbage. I'm so tired of having this conversation with you. It is not my, not my job to coddle your male fragility. I tried last night, a couple nights ago. I posted a, something on my close friend's Instagram story saying men are garbage because I had a very terrible sexist experience happen to me that night. And then I had several men respond back and saying, yes, we are facts, you know, affirming my experience. And then I had one guy, one motherfucker who tried to derail the entire fucking conversation and make it about his fucking feelings. Stop making it about you. This is not about you. I don't know how many times I have to fucking say that. And then he was like, well, you seem pretty pissed. Yeah, I get pissed off when I'm dealing with fucking incompetence, which is half of the world. Stop it. Oh. Wow, guys. I mean, I wonder who hurt her, right? we got a woman here sitting in her car recording a 60 second video about how she's the victim because not everybody agrees with her that men are trash. No, not all men are trash. In fact, the majority of men out here are in actual fact good people, right? They care about their family. They care about their friends. Most men are not terrible people. And it's ironic, right, that this woman sits here making this video screaming about how this guy is making it all about himself. Yet that is all that she is doing, right? She's like, she's sitting here making a video about how, oh, look at me. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. And the first thing that she attacks is a, is a dude's masculinity. Right? I'm not here to deal with your fragile masculinity or something like that is what she said, man. This video is so absolutely insane. And this is one of the few that we will be going over in today's show, guys. So thank you very much for sending these clips in. And without further ado, we're just going to jump right in and commentate over what she has to say. So make sure to leave your comments and your thoughts as we continue through the video. I need men. I need men to stop. I need you to fucking stop. I need you to fucking stop derailing the conversation and making it about your feelings when women say men are garbage. I'm yeah, guys, just sit there, right, and just agree with what she has to say. How crazy is that? You know, whenever we watch videos like this, gentlemen, there are there are certain sentences that these women say where it's just like something flips in my brain and it just like my brain goes to static and I just stop listening entirely. And one of those things is when women say men need to do blank. Okay, no, men don't, men don't need to do anything for you, right? They don't need to do your household chores. They don't need to say certain things. They don't need to not say certain things, right? Anytime these people say that men need to do something, guys, it's like, no, they don't. You're strong and independent. You can go out there. You can go figure it out for yourself. Men are done doing things, gentlemen. We're going to be covering a Reddit article later today if we have time. Um, but a lot of men are just straight up done. Men don't have to do anything for you, much less agree with you, okay? I'm so tired of having this conversation with you. It is not my, not my job to coddle your male fragility. I try... And you got to love, right? How that's the first thing that she goes after here. Not the fact, you know, not disagreeing with the dude, not uh, replying to anything the dude actually had to say. The first thing that these modern women will attack is your is your masculinity, right? This is something that goes for my dudes who are out here in long-term relationships and marriages and stuff like that. A lot of dudes will kind of come to the understanding that women, what they'll do is if you're not doing stuff for them, right? If you're not doing chores or you're not making them feel validated, you know, you're not telling her how she great she is, you're not doing these things for her, then that somehow makes you less of a man. And that's such a huge attitude in society today, guys, where like, if you're not doing something for a woman, society and women will label, label you, excuse me, as less of a man. I think that's incredibly disgusting, right? That's one of the first things that these people attack. It's not about the logic, right? It's not about the arguments being made. It's, oh, he's less of a man because he disagrees with me last night a couple nights ago i posted a, something on my close friend's instagram story saying men are garbage because i had a very terrible sexist experience happen to me that night and and, and and what so you had one bad experience and now everybody is just terrible as a consequence of that do these people like not hear themselves or what man like it actually gives me a headache trying to you know trying to get inside this person's brain and like actually be that damn clueless guys like, I cannot imagine being that clueless where... So what What this woman... She just said, right? She's taken that one experience and she's applied it to literally everybody. And this is what modern women will do, guys, okay? What they'll do 
is they'll go out here and they'll date these dudes, as we all know, right? The top, the top percentage of men, they'll go out there. They'll have all those bad experiences with the guy who's super attractive and the guy who has all the girls and she'll go out there. She'll get rejected. She won't get the commitment, right? She'll get the friends with benefits, but she'll never really get the commitment. And then what she wants to do is she wants to come back and say, oh, you know, men are childish. Men won't commit to me. There are plenty of men who would be willing to commit to even a girl like this, who is, to be quite honest, gentlemen, quite crazy. There'd be plenty of men who would be willing to come along and have a relationship with this woman. But she doesn't see that. All she sees is the bad experiences with the guys that she really wants. Oh, this guy treated me that way. This guy treated me that way. So that means that all men are the same as a result. And if you disagree, then you're less of a man for it. And th this is a very, a very common attitude in society, guys. Like, it, this is not just this one TikTok. This is a very common attitude. I see this everywhere, man. Like, on day-to-day -day Instagram, I mean. And then I had several men respond back and saying, yes, we are, facts, you know, affirming my experience. And then I had one guy. I'm going to play that back, okay? Because that was actually probably the most disgusting part of the video. Right, this woman sitting here uh, losing her mind in her car, it's like whatever, we see this stuff all the time, right guys? But this, I'm going to play this part back in case you didn't catch that, because this is probably the worst part of the video, or at least it's, it is in my opinion, so I'm going to play that back one more time. Men respond back and saying, yes, we are, night. And then I had several men respond back and saying, yes, we are, facts, you know, affirming my experience. And then I had one... That's, that's the worst part of the video right there, guys, is the fact that we've got other men out here who who go against their fellow man, right? Who will take this woman's side and say, you know what? Oh, we are terrible. We are this and that. And they'll go out here validating these girls' experience just, just to try and win these women over, right? And for what? You see what I'm saying? We got dudes who will agree with women just because. Like, it doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they do. I mean, we got dudes out here who will betray their fellow man to get in good with these women, even if they're totally crazy. I think that is probably the saddest part of the video, guys. I, I truly do. One guy, one motherfucker who tried to derail the entire fucking conversation and make it about his fucking feelings. Stop making it about you. This, bro, uh, bro, this entire video, this entire TikTok is her trying to make the situation about herself. Like, that, that's all this video is, is trying to turn herself into the, the oppressed in the situation. Like, oh, look what happened to me. It's all about me, me, me. And she's complaining when someone comes along and, and, uh, and in her words, does that as well. It's like, I'm sorry, you lost the right to complain when you're doing, you're doing exactly what you're trying to call this guy out for. Make that make sense. This is not about you. I don't know how many times I have to f***ing say that. And then he was like, well, you seem pretty pissed. Yeah, I get pissed off when I'm dealing with f***ing incompetence, which is half of the world. Stop it. Oh. And, and, and once again, just labeling uh, half the world, i.e. all men, uh, incompetent. Isn't that a great video, guys? Like, this, this kind of stuff is disgustingly common on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, wherever the hell we've got social media, guys. It's really gotten to the point where you can see this kind of crap everywhere. But let's continue on to the next video. And you guys can't see it off the screen, but up the top here it says, What I looked like when my boyfriend met me. Hi, Dan. I just moved in next door. I'm a supermodel. I don't care who the IRS sends, I am not paying... And you see, this is something that uh, a lot of married men and a lot of dudes in long-term relationships will see, right? Where girls will put in effort into their appearance in the beginning, but as time goes on, they'll kind of uh, worsen and worsen over time. And th this is something that, you know, when we talk about girls will say, oh, I, uh, I look this way for myself, right? I wear makeup for myself. I go to the gym for myself. I do, I make myself look better for myself. And what you'll find, guys, is that whenever women get dressed up for these girls' nights or whenever they try and improve their body and stuff like this, oftentimes it's just to, just to attract dudes. Right, this is why you see when girls are married, they'll put less effort into how they appear, right? They'll start to gain weight or they won't wear makeup, they won't dress up or anything like that because they figure, hey, I've got this guy for life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to let myself go, right? I've got this guy. I don't need to do anything. And what are you as a man going to do, right? Let's just say you're married to this. Are you going to leave? Right? We all know how the marriage laws are for men and society wants to pretend as though it isn't an issue right now where like we're just supposed to like if you're a dude in a marriage right and things are going poorly it's like if you divorce her 
okay, well, suddenly you're on the line to lose over half your assets and your kids. So, I mean, like, how disturbing is that? But, gentlemen, let's continue on to today's last TikTok before we jump into today's Reddit stories. Okay, men, this is for you. Shoot your f***ing shot. Shoot the f*** out that shot. And if you miss, shoot the f*** again, okay? Because a lot of you could be pulling women way out of your league. A lot of women date down, okay? I know a ton of women who would take a 6 or a 7 with some swag and a solid personality over an airhead ass 10 any day, okay? So please get the f*** out there. I don't know why this ever stopped. I love you guys. Good luck. DM me if you have questions. I got you. Uh, the answer to this TikTok is no, right? A lot of men are done shooting their shot. A lot of these girls will say, I don't want you to shoot your shot. I mean, <laughs> gentlemen, this woman is encouraging men to go out there and shoot their shot multiple times, even if the girl says no. It's like, no, I'm sorry. I, I actually don't want to go to jail, right? I don't want to be labeled a creeper. The funny part about this, gentlemen, is that women like this, they'll sit here and they're, they'll encourage men to go out there um, get rejected, go through all of this. And uh, what, what women will do is that if you haven't seen this, guys, like if you don't know what I'm talking about here, when men get rejected by women, it, it's not that the dude is getting rejected by one girl, right? Because what happens when, when a girl rejects a dude is she'll oftentimes draw like a, a, a social moat around that guy. Or she'll go, oh, he's a creep or, oh, look who hit on me. And she'll kind of make a bit of a fool out of him. Okay, and the thing is, what happens is if you're a dude and you get labeled like that, you're a creeper or you hit on a girl and she rejected you, now all of a sudden everybody knows about that, right? And not only that, it's like, why the hell, if a girl rejects you, would you continue giving her the free attention, the free validation, sometimes gifts and crap like that when she doesn't want it? I mean, gentlemen, that's grounds for like some really questionable stuff. Like you don't want to get entangled with that where women are saying, if a, if a girl doesn't is not interested in you guys, just cut it off. There's literally no point continuing to pursue. She could. It's like who cares, man? You know. And let's just play that through one more time, man. It, it's it's disgusting to see, right? Where you'll see a lot of girls try and encourage dudes to continue pursuing things because they're the ones that get the free attention. They get the free. They get the free validation. They get the free gifts. They get the free dinners when you continue chasing. Guys, stop giving these women free crap. Okay, let's play that through one time, one more time and kind of break it down. Okay, men, this is for you. Shoot your f***ing shot. Shoot the f*** out that shot. And if you miss, shoot the f*** again, okay? No, thank you. I actually don't want to go to jail. Okay, it's gone to the point in society, gentlemen, where if you look at a woman wrong, you're on the line for some uh, some serious things. Okay, so if a woman rejects you, you can be sure that that shot is not being shot again. All right, that's a that's such a terrible thing to say, man. Okay, because a lot of you could be pulling women way out of your league. A lot of women date down. Okay. Oh well, it's it's great to know, right, that if men go out here and they shoot their shot, um, your highnesses will come down and accept us. Like, I'm sorry, no, that's that's not how this works, right? What happened to the whole uh, the whole fifty fifty? Right, we're equal in relationships, and yet these women are out here thinking that they're queens. And oh yeah, I date down. It's like, no, sorry, if, you, if you're looking down on me, there'll be no dating, guys. You know what I mean? These women who think that they're above everybody and they're crying because they can't get commitment. It's like, maybe it's because you're, you know, you're arrogant and because you're looking down on everybody. I find it so ironic that these are the same women who will sit here and talk about equality, equality, equality. And then they're going, oh, yeah, well, I'd date down for you. I'd let you be my boyfriend. I'm sorry, that's not how this dynamic works right? It, <laughs> Your Highness. It, that's that's just so crazy to me, man. I know a ton of women who would take a six or a seven with some swag and a solid personality over an airhead ass 10 any day. Okay? And, and first of all, I disagree with that. I think a lot of women would choose the 10, even if the guy's not intelligent, over the six or seven. And the second part of that is, okay, why the hell would men go out here and be someone's second option? Like, gentlemen, this is for my dudes who are in relationships and marriages once again. It's like, you as a guy, if a girl is treating you as a, as a second or below option, it's like, why the hell are you even there, man? 
You know what I mean? It's like these women want to act as though, okay, well, I can treat my husband like dirt. I can treat my boyfriend like dirt. And he should just accept it because I'm above him. Right? A lot of men are not accepting this anymore. You want to think you're the queen bee and you can do all this and that. A lot of dudes are saying, you know what? No, thank you. I actually, I would prefer to be by myself. I would prefer to do the things I'm interested in than to put up with this disrespect and feel like I'm somebody's sixth priority. Okay, you, you want that commitment. You can go out there. You can uh, try and get a relationship with the first 30 chads, uh, chads, excuse me, that you had 20 minute relations with on a Tuesday morning. Okay, it's like uh, these women want, <laughs> they want to have their cake and eat it too. So I'm sorry, guys, like none of this uh, pandering to women, giving them free get, free gifts, continuing to chase them. They can uh, they can enjoy the, the lack of commitment by themselves, I think. Okay, so please get the fuck out there. I don't know why this ever stopped. I love you guys. Good luck. And DM me if you have questions. I got you. It stopped because men are done. Right? And I just... Did I just hear that correctly, by the way? I just want to play that outro one more time, okay? Let's let's have a look at this. I don't know why this ever stopped. I love you guys. Good luck. And DM me if you have questions. I got you. Okay. I, I love you guys. DM me if you have questions. You think that if you DM a woman like this, she's going to reply to you? You know what I mean? It's just such bait for attention, right? Love you guys. Send me a DM. She, this person making this video, she doesn't love anybody. <laughs> like, guys, can we just call it for what it is, okay? The dudes who watch this video and, and agree with this woman, she, she doesn't love them, right? She isn't going to really reply to their DMs. Maybe like one here or there, okay? But it's just such such bait, isn't it, guys? Like, it's really disgusting to see. And a lot of men are just done with this this kind of stuff, to be quite honest. It's like, why the hell would you go out there and continue to date these... Continue to give these people the benefits of being a girlfriend when they're not your girlfriend? Because that's essentially what they're asking, right? Is they're saying, hey, I know you're not... I know I'm not going to ever be your girlfriend, but I what, what I want you to do is I want you to go out there and continue giving me the benefits of being your girlfriend as a man. And as a man, I want you to waste your damn time. That's just so crazy to me, man. But let's continue on to today's Reddit stories. And this is one that one of you guys have sent in. This is very recent, okay? And this is a perfect segue here, okay? So this one is titled, Has anyone noticed the massive trend of men on most dating subs giving up on dating? I mean, I remember visiting this sub once and I didn't describe it. I didn't subscribe to it, but I kept getting the notifications on my phone when popular or rising posts come up and almost every single time it's a post about a guy giving up on dating. And it really sucks bad because I have always personally had a decent deal of difficulty dating, but everyone was trying to assure me that most guys are doing fine with dating. Yeah, you see, most people will try and assure you that, oh, guys are doing fine in dating, right? Because they want you to continue going out there and giving them the free crap. It's like, oh, no, don't give up on dating. You'll find the one eventually. And when women are saying this, what they're doing in their mind, guys, is they're like, oh, he's going to be that meal ticket for when I'm 35 or when some girl is 35. Just go out there, can continue to try, and then uh, we'll see you when I'm 35. And uh, I've got three kids in the picture. Right, continue to go out there, give the free dinners, the free validation, the free gifts, and uh, I'll see you when I'm knocking on 40. Uh, which I'm not so sure about anymore. I had read posts from countless men ages 20 to 49 of them being single for ridiculously long periods of time. Some going up to numbers like 12 years. Think about that for a second. An entire decade of your life not dating at all. That is just the T word, and not from lack of trying it seems. The guys would always say they would go approach, go to clubs, try dating apps, which is a trap to no avail. And I have noticed this trend becoming increasingly worse and worse. It seems like dating has become its most difficult for men, honestly, and it's only getting worse. Guys are not really the option to date until years down the line. What has, uh, what has got to change for this to get better? Frankly, I'm not entirely sure. It just seems like a problem that nobody is talking about. Yeah, you know what? Nobody is talking about it. Right? And when you try and talk about this stuff, gentlemen, you get cancelled for this kind of stuff. Like, I have to be so careful about the words that I choose on this platform because we have already received multiple warnings on this channel. I don't know how long this channel is going to last, guys. I don't know if it'll last a week. I don't know if it'll last six years. Who the hell knows? Because YouTube has given warnings on my channel, guys. Like, I don't swear. I don't do none of that. I don't attack people's appearances. I don't do any of that. And we've got multiple warnings on this channel, and they haven't even told us why. Right? Nobody nobody talks about this stuff because everyone has an agenda to keep men out there doing this stuff for them. 
right? Oh, like guys, I, I wonder if people think I'm joking when I say this, right? But when people try and push this, right, that most guys are doing fine in dating, or that, you know, you should go out there and you should continue to be friends with these people and, and do all this kind of crap. The most of these women, like, uh, particularly the ones, <laughs> most women out here, guys, what they'll do is they'll put men into a couple of different boxes, right? They'll put you into the provider box or they'll put you into the box of the dude that they're actually attracted to. A lot of people have the agenda of, okay, let's keep men dating because they're the ones that benefit from it. Now, guys, I don't particularly care what you do. If you want to date, that's up to you. If you don't want to date, that's that's also up to you. I don't shame dudes for whatever the hell they want to do in dating, right? We got a lot of married dudes over here, surprisingly enough. I did a poll on the channel a while ago. Like, I don't mind what you guys do. I'm not here to judge men, but here's the thing. The reason why a lot of guys are quiet about this is because a lot of guys get cancelled over it, right? And if you talk about this in your social circles and you say, oh, okay, well, I don't want to date because of this reason, or I feel this particular way about this particular issue, a lot of your friends, family members, like a lot of you have uh, sisters and stuff like that, oh, you'll get called the, the I word very quickly. You'll get called the M word very quickly. Uh, but anyway, that's, that was a bit of a rant. Let's see what some of these people have to say in the comments. It's a package of many things to, uh, coming together. Dating apps are the new normal. The C word nailed its nail in the coffin, but basically with technology goes the laziness. Men and women alike are just not active anymore and look for swipes and likes and thumbs up to find somebody. Women on dating apps have the luxury to select the top tier bar of attractive men because there is God knows uh, what reason a severe lack of women on top of that many men are just f boys who do nothing but swipe right on anything they can get their hands on act like the most handsome men there can be and abandon her the second they had bedroom fun and ruined her imagination of a relationship this is purely objective but i think women these days expect way more from a man than before my parents came together in a we better move out get married and have kids before the world we live in falls apart they come from certain types of countries and they live happily together since today nobody uh nobody Today, no one is living in fear of losing literally everything in life. Bit of a grammatical questionability there. There is a conflict. It feels like between the age-old tradition that men are supposed to be proactive in approaching uh, and women to accept or decline the attempt. However, I lived for a very long time in that mindset of men and women are equal. I live the life I want. And if a woman finds me in my lifestyle attractive, I will know it. 10 years into this mindset have proven uh, not only that what I do is not getting me any female attention, but women will not do the first step 90% of the time because it's their job to receive, not to approach. It is more than 90% of the time, right? A lot of these girls, man, they don't want to go out here and they don't, they don't want to get rejected. They'd rather the men do the, uh, do the approaching, right? Women, if they like you, man, they're not going to walk up to you and strike up conversations because girls hate rejection. Right. Oftentimes what girls will do, man, is they'll have one rejection in their life and they'll never talk again. If girls are into you, I think I said this on the last video, guys, but if girls are into you, they're not going to make it super obvious. A lot of times they're just going to spend more time around you. And that's kind of the extent to which it'll go, notwithstanding if you're very attractive. But let's see what some of these other people have to say. Uh, historically, traditional gender roles have somewhat favored women in that sense. Men were always expected to be the providers, so they were the ones doing the approaching, while women were supposed to play hard to get. But now, despite the womanism prompting a series of paradigm shifts, this dynamic has shown a rather slow change. But what else? The fact that men are still supposed to do the approaching still doesn't explain why the gap is widening. We also have two new factors at play uh, that we didn't in the past decades. The rise of the internet, especially social media, has made people in general more isolated. We are not required to leave our houses like we once were. So while things are a lot more convenient, this has also decreased the amount of opportunities of meeting other people, making us less socially skilled and less able to have face time needed to bond with our peers. The second thing is dating apps. Since men are the ones naturally at a disadvantage when it comes to dating, they'll go to every possible venue to improve their chances which makes them flock to those apps. Women, on the other hand, having to wait, make way less effort, don't feel as compelled to do the same. That imbalance of needs has made the overwhelming majority of dating apps users be comprised of men. A male to female ratio of about three to one. As a result, women get overwhelmingly more matches than men, not three times more, but 19 times more, since the algorithms behind those apps will limit how much your profile is shown based on the ratio ratio of matches, right swipes to left swipes it gets. So it gets exponentially worse the, uh, 
to get likes, the less attractive your profile is, since it won't be shown to the people that would potentially like you. Having an endless amount of options, being able, unable to talk to every single match, thus ghosting the majority of them. An interesting solution for that problem I saw yesterday is dating apps limiting the amount of matches you get. Got three matches already? Great, now talk to them. Until you have unmatched at least one of them, you won't be shown to anyone, nor will be able to swipe. That should make women more able to give attention to their matches and bring down the amount of men competing for the attention of the small pool of women. And the, you know the reason why that'll never happen, gentlemen? is because, hell, even the dating apps are making money off of men. Right? The dating apps are going, okay, well, we got all these men here. We've got, you know, fewer women and the men are getting less attention. What we're going to do is we're going to skew it this way even further so that men feel compelled to go out here and buy like the, you know, the upgraded Tinder or whatever the hell so that they have these benefits and they feel like they have an advantage. You know what I mean? Like even Tinder is out here trying to take advantage of dudes, um, you know, dudes out here dating. But guys, we're going to be going into today's last Reddit story before we wrap up the episode because I have to be heading out of the house rather soon. So this one here is titled, Girl, who is 25, takes hours to reply to my 25-year-old male texts, but I catch her online all the time on Snapchat. What's the deal? I've gone out with this girl three times now and been with her once in a bedroom since. She invests a lot into it. She paid for the last two dinners, over $30 each, cleaned her house squeaky clean before she invited me over, always compliments me on my looks, intelligence, and popularity, made sure I was very comfortable at her place. Before I left in that morning, last Thursday, we hugged and kissed, and she told me that she would hopefully see me next week, but since then, I've not managed to meet her. She takes hours to reply, but is always online on Snapchat. I know I'm exhibiting needy and stalker behavior, but it's driving me insane. I tried calling once a few days ago, but it went unanswered and didn't get a call back, but got a vague response sometime later. I guess I'm overthinking since I know she's stressed out about work, but I have no clue what to do. Any advice? Gentlemen, something you've got to understand is the fact that women, when they do this sort of stuff and they're not replying to you and they don't want to talk to you and all this stuff, that's cool. Let them. Guys, you know what I mean? Like, stop the chasing, stop the stressing. Girls will do this stuff knowing full well that they can see that, you know, that they see that you see that she's on Snapchat. You know what I mean? It's like, guys, women will be out here playing these sorts of games, and yet they'll cry when men turn around and do the exact same kind of uh, games on them, right? And the thing about this is, gentlemen, is just to, you know, don't concern yourself with whether or not she's not replying. The, the thing is, if a girl is not interested, guys, that's cool. You've saved yourself a hell of a lot of time. Honestly, a lot of times it's just a favor, right? Where you don't need to be going out here chasing these girls who, hey, if she wants to spend on her time on Snapchat, um, that's probably an indication that you've got better things to do than to deal with her. But guys, we're going to be leaving today's episode there. So as always, make sure you leave your thoughts and your comments below. It's always interesting to see what you guys have to say. If you disagree with anything I've said, guys, feel free to do so. That is what the comments box is for. And as always, if you are interested in supporting the channel, make sure you check out the locals link in the description. The first month over there is totally free on me with code fiendish, guys, so make sure you check that out. The link for that to join is below. But otherwise, gentlemen, we're going to be calling it there, so make sure you take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you boys in the next episode. Peace.